All right, guys, we're going to do something a little different here, mainly because I don't see a lot of videos on uh, on YouTube uh, showing dryers being worked on, diagnosed, and uh, so that's what we're going to talk about today. You'll have to excuse the mess in my laundry room. i got tight quarters, and with this being an electric dryer, all the components are on the back side, so unfortunately that meant um, ripping everything out of here so I can work on it. Now, what happened here, this was not drying. Uh, we were throwing everything on, uh, on high and it, it took four or more cycles for it to even come close to drying. We weren't getting any heat. So, um, in, in starting this process, the vents were not blocked. Um, you can do that with a, a simple piece of paper or tissue or something. So what you do, uh, you're going to have to do this while the door's open and just be careful because of these guys, you can get your hand caught and I would imagine that would hurt. So with it open, you have to press in your, your little toggle switch to let the, the dryer know that the door is closed. And this probably helps to have somebody up top uh, pressing the start button while you're in here. So you have your outlet for your, your hot air to come out and then you got your intake. And what you do is you take a piece of paper and put it on the intake. And if it holds against the intake, you have good airflow and chances are your vent is not blocked. So that was not the case for us because the paper held. So we go to the back side. Now I had this door on the back. I had to take the vent off take the door off and you expose all of this. So your fan, I believe is in here. This is where the outlet is for your fan, where your vent goes to. This is your heating elements. Uh, that's where your power wire goes into. Now you have a number of safety devices here. You have one for your heating elements here. You have a couple down here. Uh, maybe high limit they might sense temperature I'm not exactly sure I don't work on dryers often this is just a light bulb in here for when you open the door you can see and lastly we have this little guy this is your high limit for whoops sorry about that this is the high limit for um, your heating elements and this is actually what was wrong um, this sits right about here just like so and uh yeah um fortunately this is the first one that i checked and that's what was wrong so how do i do that you just pull one wire off at a, at a time be mindful of where those wires went in this case it doesn't matter which wire goes where these are just um these are just safety devices so it doesn't matter which one goes where, but it's always good to put the, the same wire back in the same spot. It's just a good habit. Um, so in testing these, you just need, you know, needle nose or, or something, any sort of decent meter. This is, um, I won't go too much into this one, but this is an ideal I picked up from Lowe's for about 60 bucks. Does everything you need to. It's got a little kickstand got a light you just need something that reads continuity which is that sound symbol um, that you see there so what is continuity for those who aren't familiar with electrical work continuity just shows that there is a constant path for electricity to go through so meaning the wire is not broken um, severed and in this case your safety devices so you simply pull off the wires, put one lead on one end, the other lead on the other end, and you should hear a constant sound. This is a little tricky to do one-handed, so you'll have to excuse me. But you can see, maybe not if it'll focus, you can see both leads are touching the metal and we should be hearing a beep, but we are not. So that means that this safety device this high limit is open and it's not letting it's not letting power pass through and continue on 
cutting power to our heating elements, not letting this thing dry. So fortunately, this is a this should be a cheap little ten dollar part, um, simple to replace. But uh, that's kind of that's kind of where that's at. Fortunately, like I said, this is a, a simple fix, and I uh, got lucky here. But you know, as always. Um, you, you don't think you should have to explain this, but you know, you never know whenever you're working on electrical, make sure you always unplug it. That way you don't accidentally short something out, um, or shock yourself. But, uh, yeah. So that's kind of where this one's at. I hope this helped. Um, I'll leave a description of the model uh, of this particular dryer in in the description of this video. I believe it's a Kenmore 110 607 22990. But um again, I'll I'll confirm that in the description. But yeah, hope this helped and um catch you on the next one.